Hi everybody, this is Nafish. Today we are going to work on some uh, filter implementation using SciPy library. And as usual, we have to import NumPy as NP, SciPy as SP, and then Matplotlib as PLD. You can give it some different name if you want. And if you do not have SciPy, then you just go onto this link and do the installation. There are a couple of methods mentioned there, so just follow one of them. Okay. So first, uh, let's say we are going to implement a low pass filter. Okay. So we gotta have a signal with multiple um, frequencies so let's say signal is equals to uh, np dot sign and then uh, let's say 2 times pi times f1 times t and then we're going to have second harmonics which is np dot sign then 2 times pi times f2 times t okay so we have a signal com combined of two frequencies okay so let's define the frequencies let's say f1 is equals to 5 hertz and then f2 is 50 hertz and you know this signal is a combination of these two frequencies and you know once we give it through a low pass filter it should only have the low frequency which is 5 hertz so let's also set up a cutoff frequency so let's say already Okay, and then a sampling frequency which is fs let's say it's uh 300 okay so 300 samples per second okay and time t is equals to let's say np dot lin space so we are going to get start from zero and end at one so this is zero to one seconds and in this duration we are going to have 300 samples so fs so we are creating a signal which is going to last from zero to one seconds and that will have 300 samples okay so this is our signal i think we already defined everything and oh okay so pi we should import it from np.py and then this pi as well np.py okay so let's try to plot this uh figure um, signal plt.plot and then the signal let's see how it looks like i think i have to run this guy then this and this and then this okay okay so this is our uh, this is our signal. I think I, let's have the x axis as well. Okay, so the signal uh, starts at zero, ends at one second, and we have 300 samples. And this is, you know, we have two frequencies here f1, which is 5 hertz, f2 is 50 hertz. Okay, and we are going to create a low pass filter so that that eliminates this higher frequency component. Okay. Okay, so let's get into the filter design part. First of all, we need to define the order of the filter. So let's say the order is five, and then um, we are going to design a butter root filter. So how are we going to um, call it? Uh, SP, that's the SciPy library, SP dot signal dot butter. Okay, and this is uh, going to give you two parameters, B and A. So B is the numerator and A is the denominator of the transfer function. So we always just think about a transfer function and it got a numerator and a denominator and B and A are the representative of those numerator and the denominator. Okay, so sp.signal.butter and then the first uh, component is going to be the order of the filter which is N and then the cutoff frequency already defined which is 30 hertz FC and then what type of filter low pass and then our sampling frequency fs is uh, sampling frequency which is already we have defined 300 right so this is going to give you the b and a the coefficient of the filter which is nothing but by but, um, nothing but the uh, transfer function numerator and the denominator okay and then um let's uh, see the response of this filter so w and h w is the frequency h is the filter response is equals to again call the scipy library and then signal and then uh, frix and, uh, I think there is a Z here and then what we need to uh, have input here is the B and A numerator and the denominator of the transfer function and the sampling frequency FS which is FS okay then try to plot it out plt dot plot and then the frequency and then the response which is a um, complex number so you need to get the absolute value of that Okay, and then plot it out 
okay so we know that our cutoff is around 30 hertz and this is the point probably and you see after that uh, the, the filter is rolling off okay so you get more or less max value in this domain and then the higher frequencies like after 30 will be attenuated you know okay so we can have a logarithmic view of this so semi i think plt dot semi log x so this is going to give us uh, give us a logarithmic um, view okay log 10 and then apply it to the response and i think it's going to be np dot log okay so let's run it okay so this is uh, the response one thing i would like to show is like you know maybe we can show it later or you can try yourself uh, you know the higher the order of the filter the the steeper the response is going to be okay so this is n equals to 5 right how about um, n is equals to 1 okay and you see the roll off is not as steep as the previous one and you can see like the attenuation is not that much after the cutoff okay so let's go back to our number five okay and you see like see the number that is definitely higher than what we have seen before okay so let's uh, um, implement the filter or pass our signal through this filter so uh, for that uh, we have to get let's say our signal after filtering is y okay and then um, we have to again call the scipy library sp dot signal and then I think L filter and then the input is going to be B, A, the polynomials and then our signal is I, G, I think. Um, okay. So we get the filtered Y and then, then plot it out. So plt dot plot, um, plot with uh, time, so T filtered, okay. Oh, there is a Y here. Okay, let's run it out. Okay, so this is our output. Okay, and remember the other like the filter uh, the signal with the higher frequency component. Let's plot that together as well. So T and that is sig, S I G and um, let's say that um, S. Okay, and have a color of the filter signal red. Okay, and plot okay so you see the higher frequency components right here in the blue and we get our filter response uh, which is red still you see like it's not a like smooth sinusoidal there is some harmonics getting passed you know but uh, we can we can work on that in fact you know uh, what we can do is uh, we can have much higher attenuation so let's say n is equals to 8 okay and then run it run it and you see how the signal looks like now the red one uh, the clipping on the top is gone so because the roll of here you see like 100 db okay attenuated so the second frequency component is attenuated by this amount which is huge okay so i'm pretty sure like if i have uh, order let's say two you are going to get more ripples okay so let's see let's run it run this guy and you see how ripply this red signal is because the attenuation is not that much as the order 8. So this is the impact of the order of the low pass filter. Now one thing um, is um, this low pass, you can just uh, have high pass, band pass, you know, all, all sort of filters here. 